So we're back, and just to clarify that I do have a bump. Um, so the next look is one of my favourite makeup artists. His name is Rashar, maybe. I have no idea how you pronounce it. It's R-O-S-H-A-R. And it's a beautiful makeup. It's very creative. It's quite pale. Not very practical for a night out. However, you can kind of alter it and do whatever stages you want to do yourself and still use it for a night out. So we're going sense. to use our fiber optic brush from MAC, our 187, with N1 face and body. I want the skin to be really sheer and really natural. I'm also going to put this on to Laura's neck because even though it's N1 which is the lightest pinky base that MAC do for face and body it's still a tiny bit darker than Laura's skin so I'm going to put it onto the neck really quickly as well. And if you hear false tan you can also use it as a false tan, which is what I do. And it doesn't smell of stinky biscuits, <laughs> which is what false tan smells of. Okay, so that's enough of the face and body. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix two concealers together just to get rid of any ready purpley tones from the skin. And the two concealers I'm going to mix are NW15 and NW20 Pro Longwear Concealers from MAC. They're amazing, they've got really good coverage, they stay in place, and they're matte. <laughs> Laura's stomach just made a little bit of a gurgly noise, <laughs> which is why we're laughing. Okay, so, Pro Longwear Concealers look like this. And they come with a little pumpy action. So, one pump will suffice because of its really amazing coverage and I'm going to apply the concealer with another Sigma Kabuki synthetic brush the number of which is P84 okie doke oh and it comes to a lovely point so it really fits underneath the eye and in the corners of the nose so I'm going to pat it into the chin and into the cheeks this concealer sets really quickly, so you have to work fast. I'm actually not going to put anything into the eyebrows at all for this look. But I am going to groom them ever so slightly with just a clear, clean scar wand. I'm also going to put on a little bit of our light mineralized just in the tea panel to reduce shine. There we go. So, as I said, we're going to use pinks and we're going to use coppers and we're going to use oranges. So, the pink that I'm going to use is a colour from MAC and it's called Passionate. This one here. And I'm going to use my 222 brush, which is our slender, skinny one, and do the detail around the socket and underneath the eye first. So I'm going to start off with the sockets. Now this look does go right into the eyebrow as well. So I'm just using my brush in circular motions 
to blend it in. I'm just putting wee bits onto my brush every so often so there's never too much product on. And just have a look for me. And look all the way up to the ceiling. This colour Passionate is really highly pigmented, which basically means it gives a really extraordinary colour payoff. So I'm just blending it around the outer corners so it complements the shape of Laura's eyes. So next stage is I'm going to press on a paralysed pinky white called Floof right onto the lid or right into the inner corners of the eye so we can make the passionate pink really really pop for us. So close your eyes for me. I'm using a flat brush to do that. Bring it right into the inner corners. Open. Great. And close the hand. Chair ever so slightly this way, just so you can see that shine. And hear the squeak of my chair. <laughs> and see the other side. Okay, I'm back. So that's our pink done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the blue pop out even more. Of from Laura's eyes by introducing a little bit of orange and maybe a little bit of copper too. orange just makes it that bit richer. So I'm just using my wonderful 224 to bring out our edges. Okay and we're gonna bring the orange underneath as well. So if you look all the way up for me. I'm just going to use my 219 pencil brush just to make the orange stronger for me right underneath. Right okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of liner this time right underneath the lower lashes. And for that, I'm just going to simply use a water resistant eyeliner from MAC called Stubborn Brown. And there we go. And if you look all the way up for me, I'm literally bringing it into the lash line. And 
I'm also going to use fascinating into the inner corner of the eye. And a little bit into the upper lash lines which goes really out for me. And now we're going to pop in a fascinating eyeliner from MAC, which is the white one. And voila. And you can set your head down for me and look all the way up. Using a pointy liner brush from MAC. Just to elongate the edges underneath the eye. So I'll put on mascara. I'm going to use my false lashes again from MAC. Blush baby. I'm just blending it kind of into the eyeshadow as well. Nice and soft. And the lips are going to be nudie, so I'm going to use a colour called Miss from MAC. Which is virtually gone, as you can see, I use it loads. It's like a beigey peach. that's it that is our rush hour inspired makeup look um, obviously you can do the little bits that you like and make it really kind of wearable for yourself for a night out on the tiles but they're beautiful complementary colors so they're oranges and coppers and that passionate color which is kind of a pinky color and I do love it I think it's gorgeous and for the next part I'm going to transform this into a really ultra smoky eye but I'm going to get rid of the pinks for the brows and make the eyebrows a little bit more normal so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next part. Bye bye from Mighty Makeup Ireland. Bye.